And it's all of those big, wild, white-knuckle market swings that have put many investors on edge. But not all of them. The most respected and most influential investor of our time, Warren Buffett, isn't worried about this market. That's what he said today to Becky Quick, who spoke with him in New York City. And he explained why up days are nice, but down days are better, because he gets to buy what he likes at a cheaper price. I'm no good on what's going on in markets. Uh, I, uh, I have no idea what will happen tomorrow or next week. And sometimes they're, they get very volatile like this, and other times they put you to sleep. But the important thing is where they're going to be in five or ten years. And I'm confident they'll be considerably higher in ten years. And I really have no, no idea where they'll be in ten days or ten months. If we're buying a stock, we usually try and buy a given percentage of the volume that trades that day. Same way for selling, although we don't sell very often. Uh, so. Uh, down days I like because we buy them cheaper and uh, uh, we don't try to really figure out what's going on in markets. I, I've never been any good at it. We also got the chance to talk to Buffett about what he thinks when it comes to the economy. And we have gotten some very strong economic numbers lately, like that last jobs report or the number of auto sales that have been happening on a monthly basis. However, Buffett looks at this a little bit differently. He thinks that what's really happening right now is economic growth of about 2 to 2.5% 2 kind of slogging through like we've been doing for the last five or six years. However, he says those uh, most recent economic reports will make it much more difficult for the the Fed when they meet next week to decide whether to raise rates. In economics, you can, you can never just do one thing. There's always and then what. And I think and the, the and then what of moving rates up substantially while Europe's trying to keep them very low could have some consequences down the line. Of course, one of the most likely negative consequences for the United States would be that if the U.S. Fed raises rates while other central banks are keeping rates low, that would mean that the dollar would strengthen. And that's bad news for American exporters. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Becky Quick in New York.